Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify rational expressions. So let's get started. All right, so for our first example, we wanna combine these two fractions. So the only way we can do that is by using this rule we have on the right side that says if you have x plus or minus y all over the same denominator z, then we can add and subtract the top. Pretty much that's the idea you wanna apply for this particular example. Now, we wanna make sure we have the same denominators in order for us to combine these two fractions. So I'm going to rewrite this problem. So for the first fraction, we have one over x plus three. There's nothing else we can do to that. Plus for the second fraction, well, x squared minus nine looks like that's something you can factor because it's a difference of two perfect squares. So we can factor that into x plus three, x minus three. So those are the factors for x squared minus nine. So I'm gonna replace that on the denominator of this. So we have x plus three and x minus three on the bottom and on top there's still a one there. Okay, so now we can actually look for the lowest common denominator to combine these two fractions. So we abbreviate that using LCD so the LCD that will work for both fraction, it's going to be the denominator of the first fraction, which is x plus three. And from the second fraction, well, I already have a factor of x plus three, which is right here. So all I need is just the factor of x minus three. So that will be our LCD for both of these fractions. Now we look at each fraction and give individually what they're missing to have the LCD on the denominator. So it looks like only the first fraction will need the LCD. So we're going to go ahead and multiply the first fraction top and bottom with what it's missing, which is only the factor of X minus three. So that's how it looks like. Well, now that I have done that, now I can start combining. So I have one times X minus three, that will be X minus three over X plus three and X minus three. And the second fraction, we keep it as it is because it already has x plus three and x minus three in the denominators. All right, so now that they both have same denominators, we can group them into a single fraction. So we have the following, we have x plus three, x minus three in the denominator. And on top, we just add them up. We have x minus three and plus one. And finally, we combine like terms. Only like terms we have is a minus three and a plus one on top. So that would just give us X minus two since negative three plus one is a negative two. And on the denominator, we still have the same factors, X minus three and X plus three. And pretty much that's, that's simplified because there's nothing else we can do with this. So that will be our final answer. Now using the same idea, let's do another example. So take a look at this problem I have. Again, pause the video, work it out on your own, and then check it with me later. So first thing you wanna do is look for LCD that would work for every fraction, first, second, and the third. So looks like for this question, I must have a square in the LCD because the first fraction contains it, okay? Second fraction, well, it contains a and b. Well, I already have a square, which means it's a times a. So I just need one factor of b. That will do for the second one. Now for the last one, well, I need b square. So while I already have one of them, all I need, I just need to increase one more b to get to b square. So if I just use b square, that will do the job. So a square times b square, will be the LCD for all of these three fractions. Okay, so now that we have figured that out, I am going to give each fraction what they're missing to have the LCD in the denominator. So let's look at the first fraction. Well, the first one has A square, so A only needs B square to complete the LCD. So I'm gonna multiply this one with B square over B square. Now think of what about the second fraction? What is it missing to have the LCD? Well, it's missing the squares. So I just need one more factors of A and B because AB times AB is A squared B squared. And the last one 
has b squared, so it's only going to need a squared to have the LCD. So now that I have successfully done that, let's go ahead and combine. So the first one, we have two times b squared over a squared b squared minus the second one is going to give us 3ab all over a squared b squared plus 4a squared over a squared b squared. Now they all have the same denominator, which means I can successfully combine the top and write it into a single fraction. So we finally have the same denominator a squared b squared. First one we have 2b squared, second we have 3ab, and the last one 4a squared. And there you go, that's pretty much combined, so we can leave it right here. So that'll be the combined answer for this. All right, so let's take a look at another example. Take a look at this one. You have another problem that involves three terms and you wanna combine them into a single fraction. Again, we're gonna look for the LCD, but for this question, we're going to go ahead and see if we can factor the denominator, just like the first problem we did. So two over X, well, that's two over X, nothing else to do plus three over x minus one, again, nothing to do on the denominator, minus four over, well, x squared minus x, I can do a little bit more. I can pull out an x, and then I'll be left with x minus one. Okay, so now that all the denominators are completely factored, now let's figure out what is the LCD. Well, we're gonna need the denominator from the first fraction, second fraction, and the third fraction, well, that already has everything that we pulled out, so that would be the LCD. That would work for everything. All right, so now, same drill. We're going to give each fraction what they're missing. So this one is missing a factor of x minus one. So we multiply it top and bottom. This one is missing a factor of x. So here you wanna put parentheses because x is getting multiplied to everything. And the fourth one, it already has everything, so it doesn't need to be modified. All right, now we're ready to combine. So the first one, we have two times x minus one. Second one, uh, we have plus three x. And the last one, we have minus four, all over the same denominator. So I'm skipping a step. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you can follow that. And then now let's simplify. So here, you want to distribute this. So that's a 2x minus 2 plus a 3x and a minus 4 all over x times x minus 1. Well, now we can do a little bit more combining on top. 2x and positive 3x, that will be 5x. And then negative 2 and minus 4, that will be negative 6 all over x times x minus 1. And pretty much that's our simplified answer. There's nothing else we can do here. All right, let's do one last example and then that'll be it for this section. So here I have another fraction, but this involves a fraction within fraction. So you have a big fraction line right here and then there's still little fractions inside. So how do we do something like this? Well, if you recall, there is a rule that we need to follow. If you have say a fraction A over B over another fraction C over D, you want to keep the first fraction, which is a over b, change the division to multiplication, and you reciprocate the bottom fraction, so that would become d over c. And then we just multiply them. So we have ad over bc. That's pretty much the rule you want to follow when you're working with division like this. So let's go ahead and combine the top two into a single fraction. Let's focus on this and combine it into a single fraction. So again, you can treat this as one over one and then find the LCD to combine them, which will be X plus two in this case. So we're gonna go ahead and multiply this with X plus two over X plus two, top and bottom. So that would give us X plus two times one, which is X plus two. And then, um, right, X plus two. And there is a plus one all over x plus two. There we go. All over, now let's take a look at the bottom fraction. We wanna combine it into a single fraction. 
So here I'm going to again treat it as a two fraction and combine them, write this as over one, and then multiply with what it's missing to have the LCD, which is again x plus two in this case. So it's a multiply top and bottom by x plus two and combine it with negative one. So we have x plus two minus one all over x plus two. So we combine the top into one fraction, we combine the bottom into another fraction, and now we're trying to simplify so that we can use the rule we wrote down earlier. So let's go ahead and simplify. So on top, we're gonna combine like terms. So we have two and one, that will be x plus three over x plus two, all over. And on the bottom, we can combine two and negative one, that'll be x plus one over x plus two. All right, now it looks like this, so we can use the rule. We are going to keep the top fraction, which is x plus three, over x plus two, change the division to multiplication, and we reciprocate the bottom fraction. We get x plus two over x plus one. Great, now we can actually simplify this. So let me bring it back parentheses so that they look like grouped together. Well, now you should see that clearly we can cancel our common factors. x plus two, x plus two, top and bottom, they're the same uh, factors, so we can cancel them. Now, x plus 3 and x plus 1, they're not common factors, so we're going to have to keep them as it is. So we have x plus 3 over x plus 1. And that's it. That will be our simplified answer. All right, uh, I hope you enjoyed. So that's it for this video.